From celebrating special events to conveying feelings that words simply cannot, dance is a part of the human story. Ballet Folklorico de las Americas has taken those stories from Central and South America and shared them with people here in Utah. El Pescador is a cumbia dance from Colombia, and it talks about fishermen going out to sea to fish for the day, but when they come back, they see that there are better fish to catch, and that's the women. So that's why they go after the women and they start dancing and flirting with the women. So after a hard day's work, I don't blame them. Not at all. <laughs> I like to move. I like to have my body move, and I can do it through dancing. Something that I can represent is even more meaningful. It has more meaning when we're representing something that happens in daily life. Three, four, eight, with intent, with intent of trying to grab the girl. I'm going to get you, I'm gonna get you, and move, two. Ballet Folklorico de las Americas started in 1979. Ever since 1983, I've been with the group. I started as a dancer, and after that, as an instructor, and after that, I ended up being the artistic director of the group. Four, five, six, seven, to teach the dancing is the best way to share and help others learn through dancing the history of the people. I've been dancing myself since I was a little girl, since I was in kindergarten. This one is my cousin and I in kindergarten dancing our ronda. That's so cute. My mom made this one. She made this one too. This one is from Sinaloa, Mexico. This is my second grade doing a Sinaloa dance. And this is the whole class doing the Sinaloa dance. This is from Jalisco. This is so much fun because it has a mariachi music. And I grew up with mariachi uh, music because my dad played the violin in a mariachi band. So it was so much fun. Uh, I had my dad here in my heart all the time because he taught us a lot of, about the music. In fifth grade, I danced these dances from Russia, and I loved it because I saw for the first time Cossack dancing with crab reels and coffee grinders and the size and all that. I was having so much fun doing those because we had a great teacher. And through that, I go, I need to know more about the Russians. I wanted to learn dances from other, other countries. And, and that's the time when I, my eyes started opening to the world. They go, wow, it's gonna take me a lot of years to learn all these things. Am I gonna live long enough to learn everything that I would like to learn? And uh, well, so far, so good. <laughs> Still not enough time anyway. Irma pushed forward towards her dream of learning about the world. She attended Brigham Young University and traveled the globe, performing cultural folk dances. Then Irma brought the steps she learned back to Utah sharing the traditional dance moves with Ballet Folklorico de las Americas. I like this state because anything that comes to this state, people want to know. People want to know, they want to join it, they want to know more about it, they ask questions. It's really fun to, to talk about that. They say, see, this is what we're all about, human beings going on about their daily lives and portraying all of those things through dance. I'm really passionate about it because it talks about us. What are we gonna leave? Memories, right? feelings, they will be living with us. Those things will be prevalent in us. Yeah. 
want to find out a, about a civilization or a culture or find out about a history or something that uh, you're not familiar with or you're related, uh, you should go and learn about it because it might be your ancestors. It might be your history. And if it's not your history, it's human history, which is important. Through dance, you can talk about religion. Through dance, you can talk about uh, community event. You can talk about work. Um, relationships, human relationships, those are so much fun. Of course, love moves the world around, right? The best thing I think that we can leave is heart in everything that we do. This is Utah is made possible in part by the George S. and Dolores Story Eccles Foundation, the Utah Office of Tourism, the Lawrence T. and Janet T. D. Foundation, and the contributing members of KUED. Thank you.